Now I'm not one for fan service, but when I come across a tool that's as useful as I have, I can't say anything other than, hey, use it. So here I'm going to give you a nice example. I've got a simple PowerShell script, which in this case is doing a while loop and then putting output to console, or in this case also putting uh, an output to the event log. And this is going to be compiled into an executable. And then I have a services um, section to this, which is also going to be compiled. Now, this has a, a function for a start and a function for stop, uh, one that starts the previous uh, mentioned script, but as the executable, um, and then also put a, a quick message in the event log, and the same with stopping and starting, right? Now, this is fundamentally a very important thing. This can be used to do so many different things. And depending on the services that they're running under in terms of the concept as to whether it's a local account or your own account, it has the ability to do a great many things. So I'm going to walk you through, first of all, the install process. So the compiled service is just simply installed using the dash install. So that single executable is going to do the install. That will then reference the earlier mentioned uh, executable, in this case, the standalone console script, which is going to be the one that generates the log into the event log. So if we check out the service, we'll just confirm that it's registered. So service space mon, and in my particular case, you can see it's not started. Uh, I'm going to grab a, another PowerShell session because I want to confirm what the current event log messages are, because we're also going to be putting the information into the event log. So let's go and grab the event log. Uh, so I'll grab the application log and uh, let's say the last 20 messages or so, that should be sufficient to show what's currently happening. So as you can see at the moment, not very interesting stuff, but generally it's there. So now we're gonna go ahead and start the service and that should then put out the information to the log and also start the executable. And the executable should then run in the background because we had the no window option and other stuff. And all of this is possible because a very nice piece of software that was put out by a guy called Adam, who invented uh, basically PowerShell Pro Tools. And I cannot recommend it enough for anyone out there who's doing PowerShell development. Um, it's not often I say something like that, so please, please do give him um, credit where credit's due. He's done an excellent job here. Now you can see the executable is running, so this is my console uh, executable. The service is now running and has put out into the event log, so we're going to do something like now stop the service. Uh, the executable is now going to disappear because we told it to kill the process as part of the stop process. And now we're going to go to the event log again, and we're going to see that the process ran one, two, three, four times before I told it to stop. And that honestly is how simple it is. So you have the ability to do here is create a monitoring tool or a startup and the rest in an unmodifiable type. Because what always bugs me is when I create a script, anyone can modify it. Now they can't, and that's the end of our video.